In this quick tutorial, I'll show you a, a simple setup for using the smoke particles to, oh, maybe you want to, uh, you know, evacuate steam from a steam engine or shoot blow smoke particles or something like that. So uh, the really thing is, I just have a domain set up like you've seen in the other uh, smoke videos and the flow object right here. But within the flow object down here, I have this initial velocity box set and you see what it says it says smoke inherits its velocity from the emitter particle so then with your particle system being set up over in here I have two things one notice I'm on local axis and so I'm using a local value of 9.4 here to send the particles this direction and then uh, the velocity so that's my velocity for the flow particle and then to make the smoke evacuate so quickly it's just like uh, I've shown in uh, some of the earlier particle launching videos where I just started at one and I end the frame at two so it extends it over the course of only one frame and then it lasts only 14 frames so that's really the secret to launching things whether you're doing smoke or any other object just do it over a very short duration and it, you do notice I have quite a few particles in the scene to be able to run this animation 3610 and then I run it over just this. I'm just repeating it over and over over this uh, short duration like that. And then you can change the, uh, you can go in here and give it a material and your texture to change it up like we've done before. You have to make sure you make sure it's volume based and uh, you could turn the density down to zero like this let's see well this this only really matter when you do the final render but then on the material make sure that you have your uh, instead of cloud type for the default make sure it's set up at voxel data and then make sure you pick your domain cube which is this cube dot zero zero two I've shown that in other videos as well and then you can just blast smoke away and then from the um, if you've seen the rocket launch video then of course then then you know that you can use other objects in the scene to control the direction of this uh, smoke as well and that's how you would create a smoke ring if you got creative you could actually create a smoke ring easy enough well maybe not easy enough but yeah well pretty easy you know so think about that because I mean it should be pretty straightforward and then um, one other thing is notice how here the object is hitting it and it's kind of bouncing against the edges and that's because where is it on here on the uh, physics tab for the smoke let's see down here this should be the default value of border collisions it says border collisions all so the smoke can't leave the domain however if I take it and create it open like this then it'll at least shoot out and it won't bounce against the wall. You can see it doesn't go outside of it, but it doesn't bounce against it like that. So then you could make your scene, you know, active up into that point and then the smoke particles would continue on. Maybe you create your obstacle here and create your smoke ring effect within this section here. But you would definitely need some velocity like this to make it, you know, look realistic. And uh all right, well, I hope that gives you some more ideas about how to use the particle system and the smoke simulator because it's pretty powerful. All right, and I'll see you in the next video.